welcome back to Miss Ocasio Reads. I'm Miss Ocasio and I'm so excited to read with you today. Have you ever done your learning from home? It can be a little tricky at first, but as soon as you find a quiet spot and make sure your device is working properly, learning from home can be super fun. Today we'll read a story about different tips and tricks to help you be successful when learning from home. But first, I like to sleep in on home learning days. But how will I learn from home? Written by Mary Catherine Hillman. Illustrated by Stephanie Wenny. My teacher sent me a note to say hello. He told me that on some days I will be learning from home on my laptop. I am going to try hard to do my very best even though things are new and different. It feels strange because I really like seeing my friends and learning from my teacher at school. Each day I get dressed, I eat breakfast and then brush my hair and my teeth, just like I would on the days I go to school. My dad sets up my laptop in a quiet spot. I call this my learning area. It's hard to find a quiet spot because my little sister loves to follow me around. Plus, my puppy always wants to play and hides my shoes. Some friends learn at their grandparents' houses or with a babysitter. One friend uses a tablet to join our class online. Another has a desktop computer and sits in a huge office chair. Where is your learning area? Whatever it looks like, remember to always try your best. When I have everything I need to do my best learning, I log in to see my teacher and my class. Sometimes I meet with my whole class, and sometimes it's a smaller group. Every once in a week, it's just me and my teacher. He checks in with me and helps me with some work. It is really easy to get distracted at home, but I try my best to stay focused since this is my important learning time. My teacher sets expectations for the class. We all know what to do to help everyone to do their best learning at home. Our class created a special signal to help us get our teacher's attention. When someone makes the signal, he calls on them to share. When it's a small group, we take turns talking because it is easier to hear. When the whole class is together, the signal helps us stay organized so we can all hear, share, and learn. Sometimes I have work to do independently. This is work that I should be able to do by myself or with very little help from anyone else. I always try my best, but I ask for help if I really need it. Other times I get distracted by my sister. She loves to follow me around, but even though it's easy to get distracted, I try very hard to do my best work. When my mom is home, she lets me know when it is time to take a break. She says it is important that I get up and get moving. I like to run around outside with my little sister during my exercise time. My dad says it is important to have some creative time to play. I spend time building with blocks. I also like to draw. My favorite thing to do during creative time is to sing along to music. It helps me get ready for my next learning time with my teacher. One final visit with my class and my school day is done. I use the special signal to answer the final question of the day. Everyone gives me a big thumbs up. At the end of the day, I tell my parents that learning from home is easier when I keep a routine. Each day, I will get dressed, eat breakfast, brush my teeth, set up my learning area, and find time to play and be creative. I may not always be in school, 
but now I know that you can learn in lots of different places if you try your very best. Miss Ocasio and friends, I hope you enjoy this book. Always try your best and believe in yourself. Be well, Mary Catherine Hillman. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's story. What does your special at-home learning spot look like? Ask your grown-up for help in the description below downloading a fun activity to go along with this story. See you next time. Thanks for joining me today for Miss Ocasio Reads. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your teachers and friends. Subscribe to read more stories with me. And visit Miss Ocasio Meets to get to know your favorite authors. Thanks for watching.